My name is Rapson and welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing, where in the last episode we tied up a lot of loose threads, and in this episode we are going to be discovering new ones. The wheel on this boat has run aground. This is of course the uh, longer fellow, uh, which we found our way to through navigating correctly the nude druid's maze of Mudhenge. This boat is named for the younger fellow, uh, younger brother rather, of Henry Wandsworth Longfellow. Got it. The longer fellow. The, 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 your, your ride of, uh, Paul Revere, right? The, the rider of the... <clears throat> rider of that poem? Uh, under this thing was a poss- was possibly rather once a book sh uh, bookcase. Good lord! You notice a crawdad has set up camp and gathered a horde of shiny pebbles that it is guarding vigorously. A regular selfish shellfish shellfish. I love jokes like this. This is one of my favorite styles of joke, where you set up a very, very, it's not a shaggy dog. It's not a shaggy dog. You don't do it over minutes, right? You just make an increasingly improbable scenario that leads towards your punchline, which honestly is just about the joy of saying words. A regular selfish, shellfish, shellfish. Love it. The once proud riverboat has succumbed to those immutable twins of entropy, time and mud. Mayhaps this debris fell of the wreck boat, but mayhaps not. I search it, and I find a crusty roll. One man's trash is another crusty roll, to quote Shakespeare, if you believe he even wrote those plays. Nah, be a bunch of people. I don't know, I don't know anything about that. It's fine for nature to reclaim the shipwreck, but this plant doesn't look so happy about it. I could fight for my right to make metal stuff, but I don't really need to fight it, certainly. What glittering prize has lured these rubberneck and stink bugs and bees to this gloomy ruin? I holler at them. Beat it, bugs! All peaceful efforts have failed. Battle stations? I'll keep thinking. I feel like maybe I, uh... Might be able to get some bug solutions or plant solutions up here. The rungs of the ladder are carved directly into the hull. Counting the rungs is an accurate means of determining the age of the boat. Or its height. The Longerfellow. Main deck. A sailor can dream of no greater honor than being smushed prow. This speaker, faulty, still broadcasts, but the transmission is unintelligible. It's not that easy. The fuse inside the speaker's casing has succumbed to swamp necrosis. That's a real issue for these wooden river boats, especially when they crash into swamps. I make it work with a fuse. You discard the necrotic fuse and swap in a new one. Fight experience. With the replacement fuse snug in its bed, the transmission of which you had only caught garbled fragments now makes itself clear. And be that it? Have ye finally fixed that infernal machine? Will you nod once if you can hear me? I nod once. Praise be to the seas and the creatures in these. Fine work, landlubber. Do you mind if I call you landlubber? I nod yes. Ah, uh, yes. You'd be fine with me calling you that. I shake my head. Then novice seaman it shall be. Then... Till we can make proper introductions. Speaking of which, this is Captain Dan of the Riverboat Longerfellow, and it gives me no pleasure to report that mine vessel has run aground here in this fiendish and soggy fen that I call Davy Swamp's Locker. We few survivors be trapped up in the wheelhouse. What happened here? You shrug in a very general way. Wondering about all this, are you? Well, the longer fellow is a pleasure paddler. We paddle this east coast and show the passengers the dream of their life. This last sail. Uh, a sparking black cloud. Otherworldly it was. Hurled us off course into this violent bog. Pleasure paddle fast turned to pain paddle as our vessel was overrun by creatures and nasties. Only five souls and mine remain on the voyage. Trapped up here in the wheelhouse for, uh, well, uh, for how long only boat gods know. Explano is looking to find a lot of meat here. 
Through mine, you indicate your expectation of finding a fat stack of meat somewhere in the river road. Never was one for charades, nor a seaman. But if I'm understanding you correctly, the answer is no. A jellyfish will not have sex before marriage. Eh, nothing for it. You'll have to press on. Or not, you know. You could stop all this right now and go do something else. Grad school? Now that's an idea. I ask about the wheelhouse. You make the shapes of a wheel and a house with your hands and then shrug. No, ye the parts of a boat, nor a seaman. Two levels above ye be the main deck. And there you'll find the captain and his wheel. Not on the boat may be higher than the captain. How does he know where you are? You glance around the boat for any sign of this captain? If you're wondering how I know your abodes, Nova Seaman, I have my bendy telescope to thank. Not much for us to do trapped up here in the wheelhouse, but hold the bendy telescope and look through the bendy telescope. Can you help? You mind the handing out of mails and packages. That's what you do. You're a helpful person. You didn't ask for this, I know, and you must feel like the unluckiest sea, uh, novice seaman in the world. But there be five innocent souls in this wheelhouse with me, blocked by broken pipes, spewing scalding hot steam. Will you help us? I nod. You nod solemnly, committing yourself to the task. I ask that you enter the most private of boat parts, the hull where the wildlife has done defilement most foul to our steam pipes. Funny, be it not, that the same steam that gave life to this boat also took it from most of the passengers. I think we are only beginning to understand the natures and whims of steam, but that may be a mystery for another day. I nod again. The code to the hull door be the birthday of Longerfellow. January 4th, 1845. But there be a catch, and I am talking about what we used to haul up on Fridays for lunch. Crabs and such. Can't rightly remember the date format we used on that lock. It could be standard, that is, month, month, day, day, yeah, yeah. No? No? That's not standing! Buddy. That's American. Or international, you know, day, day, month, month, yeah, yeah. Or more like the Maritime Basic, yeah, yeah, month, day, month, day. Or Maritime Plus, which would be that backwards. Right, okay, so, let me just go quickly, quickly. Write these down. Okay, so we have Jan 4th of 1845. I'm going to look up this in the uh, watchful eyes, obviously. Um, and then it could be in MMDDYY or DDMMYY or it could be year, year, month, day, month, day or that in reverse. Got it. You'll figure it out, Nova Seaman. I'll be sure. I can say the code again. Eh, never mind. Not gonna help us there. The refreshments cart has been scavenged of all nourishment. Save a paper menu, which you should not eat. I browse the menu. A fine luncheon aboard the riverboat Longerfellow. Friday, June 3rd. Excellent. Uh, June... 1927. Hors d'oeuvres, saffron crab on the cracker. Soup, crab on a cracker. Egg, seasoned crab eggs. Fish, crab under a napkin. Poultry, chicken a la crab. Salad, leaf dressed crab with salad. Desert, crab cream. Cheese, crab cream. I eat the menu. Not even the distressed passengers of the doomed Longerfellow resorted to that. I eat it though. The wrecking of a ship exerts the dreadful psychological toil on all those poor souls trapped aboard. None can understand their special torment except by experiencing it. But you've come pretty close, you think, by wandering on board well after the fact and munching on a menu. I gained three experience for having done so. Excellent. Do I have any additional information of any kind? A great wooden wheel in the final stage of wheel death. Upon its spokes, you can make out a message scrawled in blood. Or red mud. I read it. Dan. Dan. 
We are all broke upon thy wheel. Spelling? Hmm. Interesting. The door is marked by a combination lock and the desperate scratches of a beast unable to operate the combination lock. I tried the combination lock. Okay. So. Jan 4th. So we are doing either 01... Uh, sorry, 04. 01. Uh, or 010445? Or... Four, five. Oh, it's probably going to be one of these last two, right? Because it actually makes you think a little bit more in order to do them. Because uh, each of those will be an O to begin, and then the month, which is one, and then the day is four, or that reversed. Okay, let's try those first. So, four. Looking for four. Five double oh one four. Nope, that's not it. Okay, the reverse of that would be four one double oh five four. That's not it either. I'm surprised. I'm gonna go for the international because I hope that's not it. Just starting to understand what drove someone to call the door in frustration. Is it only? Is it the last one you guess every time? Nope, that's not... Excuse me. Those are uh, January 4th, 1845. Right? I wrote the date down. Whoa! I'm steamproof. I could get steamed here. 20 hot armor? What? How? How hot armor am I? If I was the hottest armor I could be, how hot armor could I be? Filter. Please show me all of my elemental armors for hot... Obviously, the McClace. Classic four armor head. Uh, that's an accessory, unfortunately. We take the same slot. Physical armor and hot armor at the same time. Cold water. I could get a potion for five. Uh, boy. The pants have two hot armor. Yikes. After all of that, how much hot armor do I have? 20! Exactly! Wow! Okay! Well there, that's hot enough to steam a car. You wouldn't steam a car. Don't steam yourself. I'm steamproof. A confession, friend. Rarely would I put me trust in a novice seaman. But you've come this far, you proved you have the true heart of a sailor. Yeah, I keep it in a jar. Once again, I cannot hear you, friend. I cannae hear you, friend. But I hope you weren't joking around about keeping the heart of a sailor in a jar or something similar. Captain Dan likes a laugh as much as any shippy, but there's something no man nor beast should eat a joke over, and that's sailor death. I think we can all agree on this. Not getting to joke about dead sailors is the highest form of censorship! You scoff performatively at this insidious threat to free speech, but perceive no response. But I'm afraid I must tell you we have a new problem. You may have dealt with the steam pipes, but now we be locked in the wheelhouse. I expect you'll see a door key in the crow's nest. You know how crows be. You do know how crows be. Now please, hurry. Some of the passengers in here are getting hungry, and I don't mean for a nibble on the bendy telescope. Hurry along then. Uh, I have... I, I have a crow feather, which might convince them my friend. I also have cornbread, which might convince them my friend. Someone's forgotten their filthy bag, so I search it and find a battery, a naval battery, that is. So I plug it into my tummy and move onwards. This dirty bag dishonors the deck. I search it. Nothing of value, only a scrap of handwritten paper. The rest of the paper having succumbed to swamp atrophy. I read it. But having said that, Martha... The boat has taken a sharp and sickening turn into a black and shimmering tear in the sky itself, and I fear we are headed for land with unsafe speed. Grateful if you could call your father and rescue me from this impending unpleasantness. I will get this letter to you promptly. I am sure that swamps have mailboxes. They may indeed do. A 
handwritten sign on the uh, barrel reads Boson CC David. I look inside. A brackish soup burbles in the bottom of the barrel. The remains of David! Grim and foul smelling. I take anything useful with my seven stench armor to reach through. There's little solid left in the liquidated bosun, but this crisp cap has kept its shape. You got an item! Sailor's cap! Four cold armor! Tis a cap doffed by a sailor to all manner of mermans and mermen. Tucked in its brim is a tele uh, soggy telegram, which slips from the hat into the goop. I read it. The telegram reads, Mr. H. Longerfellow, Longerfellow Riverboat, Company Stop! Hope you well, stop! Requesting permission to mutiny, stop! Captain ordering ship into storm, stop! Says passengers will love it, stop! Crew plans mutiny anyway. Just hope you will not be mad with us. Stop. Hmm. I see. I see. A little bit of information additional. I wonder if Captain Dan is not to be trusted. Three outhouses, all alike in dignity. I below average. A clipboard in the side of the structure informs you these outhouses were locked up by can pat once again i try and use them you don't need to use an outhouse like right now which is fortunate as the two unlocked doors contain not toilets but rat skeletons the third door is locked i examine it you run your hands lightly over the roof and can make out a carpenter's mark the initials vh either that stands for valley hardware or versatile hog uh, if you haven't met any versatile hog yet you don't want any part of that you don't want any part of that at all i want to Ooh, like a two-legged spider, <laughs> this lock has six spaces. What shakes? It didn't like that. Okay, I should not try that again. I can't open the lock. Got it. Hmm. Read that letter again. These all seem... The fact that it gives me the ability to read them again tells... Excuse me, tells me these are probably important in solving this puzzle. A Beasley Crow eyes you with an avian bloodlust. I say hello. And it squawks at me. I could ruffle his feathers with a fight. Mm, but I feel like there might be another way to solve this. I open another sack and get myself some meat. So it's the telegram, deckhand pat. So how would I pare any of this down into numbers? Right? Six digit code. This seems unlikely from that area, in particular. Um, stairs go directly down. I can get his attention. I'm gonna uh, get him to say the code again. Need the code again? I mean, no shame in that. January 4th, 1845 be the code. So, let me just make sure, right? Because I should also be able to just unlock the thing downstairs and that might be important. Uh, so, January is 01, 4th is 04, 45 is the year, right? So 01, 04, 45, 04, 01, 45, 45, and then month, day, month, day. Oh, I see, I see, I see. What happens is you don't invert year, year, month, day, month, day. What you do is form a new one, which is day, month, day, month, year, year. And what that means is you instead have leading zeros. So zero, zero, uh, day is the fourth one, and then four, five. So I believe this to be the code, 004145. I should be able to do that downstairs. I'm going to point at frustration with the crow on the sun deck, though. Profoundly agreed, you point in the direction of the giant crow unexpectedly blocking the stairs to the top deck. Aye, the crows have taken the longer fellow and made of her proud wooden boats their nest. Made her proud wooden bones her nest. Tis the fate that befell me own mother. I cannot help you now for the same reason. I could not help mama. I'm trapped in a boat's wheelhouse. I take my leave. I see, I see, I see. Well, I'm gonna try this combination lock once more. And correctly this time. No, that's what? 
No, it's... Yes, it is! What? What? I... What? Longerfellow! I, I know he's not Longerfellow, it's Captain Dan. That's Captain Dan. Fine, but it's Captain Ryan. Understood, Captain. Speak to Captain Dan. I can understand the code again. Okay, so. Month, month. Day, day. Year, year. Right? So, day needs to be represented in two symbols, then it's 01, right? If year needs to be represented in two symbols, then it's the trailing two symbols of the year, so 1845 reduces to 45. If your month needs to be done, obviously January 01, day 04, right? So, those are the, the indiscernible units that line up with our month, month, and day, day. Year, year. Month, day, month, day. Maritime plus, which be that, but backwards. Is it possible that when he means that, but backwards, he means it still starts with year, year, but instead it's the reverse of day, month, day, month? Let's try that. So that would be... Still leading with 45, and then it's just 4-1 at the end instead. It's not that. Now, I haven't just randomly entered it incorrectly the first time I ever tried and therefore screwed myself right. That I'm just going to quickly enter the ones that seem like they should have been the answer yet again, just in case. And then it was four one o oh, o oh, five four. What about four five o oh, o? Oh. Wait, wait, hang on. Uh, four one o oh, o oh, four five. No, of course that's not it. And then 0, 0, 1, 4, 4, 5. I'm gonna try just because I can. 4, 1, and then 4, 5. Well! I don't. I'm going to the watchful eye. I'm looking at some books. Ah, the books will treat me right. Seriously, what's going on here? Do you want to tell me any additional information that's going to modify it uh, for us, game? So this is January 4th of... There we go. Whoa, apparently. 1840... Oh, 1845. There we go. Here we go. Aha, uh -huh, there's something about the wrecked longboat. Today, a new charter riverboat, the Longerfellow, was announced. Those possessed of sufficient endowment to charter the vessel are guaranteed the time of their lives, according to boat owner Mr. Henry Longerfellow, who is the younger and longer brother of uh, poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. At the riverboat's champagne christening on the Cri Crystal Dream River, one reporter was heard to joke, Is there a longest fellow? To which Mr. Longerfellow replied somebody, No, that is a myth. Well, I guess that's all for today. And then June... Here we go. Relatively recently, June 4th of 1927. Find something interesting. The day's paper tells of the disappearance of the Charter River Boat Longerfellow. All passengers and crew are presumed deceased. The river boat's owner, Henry Longerfellow, is quoted as saying, There are many things that are long, such as boat and distances, but the longest of all is grief. The article is not much help, but... Further down the page, there's a coupon for free meat? I clicked the coupon. A coupon for free meat? Who would print this? This coupon says you can get 50 free meat, but it doesn't say where to redeem it. Could it just be any shop? Who would print this? <gasps> I haven't handed the ham mill. It's... You know, before we go back to our uh, ramming our head against the longer fellow, I am going to go to the ham mill and inform them of a misprint. Uh, hey, hey, 
you move at me, I'll move right back. Don't you dare. Um, you know what? I run. I give up. <laughs> I'm just gonna wash it off. It'll all be fine. I go inside the ham mill, I ascend the ham mill, I catch the ear of the ham. What? Hang on. Where from? Here? 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 Oh, I catch his ear. Hello again. Oh, whoa. I have great news about the Pulitzers. Oh, what news, pray tell? Howdy Howl. It wasn't Howie Howl. Haldy Howell, not Sidney Cloud, won the Pulitzer for drama in 1925. Oh no, and you have aggravated my last nerve with these untruths. The prize went to Piggy Cloud. I read it with mine own eyes. It was a correction. I read it in a newspaper. Oh, I don't believe something I have not read myself, sirrah. Gutenberg and Caxton brought us the printing press for a reason! What reason is that? Oh, well, in the age before printing, it was too easy to forge checks. I have the article with the correction! How a windmill is supposed to read a newspaper article is anyone's guess. You raise the clipping bob your head and wave it vaguely. Howl for drama! Holdy howl for drama! Can this be true? Oh, oh, oh! But of course, of course, never was there a Pulitzer board boneheaded enough for the old glout! Oh, I knew it! Oh, oh, oh but this is joyous news! Howl has his Pulitzer, and so the world exhales. All is restored to order. Everything once again is in its proper house. You're welcome. The wind picks up and shakes the walls. The motes of flowers suspended in the air gather and shriek upwards towards the ceiling. Is this good? I, I am ejected. Violently. Yeah, and once again I taste the sunlight and the wind, and mine appetite is restored. I hunger for life anew, sirrah, and so I move. Sidney Glout may write free, but Galileo Galilei, he Percy Moore. And yet I move, yay, yay. And I ever shall. E por si move. Yes, I know what that means, and I also think that. Loud, a Pulitzer winner. Jefferson Jost could not write a joke so fine. I wonder. I was so enraged by the erroneous headline that I could not read on. Might I see the rest of the article? The entire list of winners? Sure. A sharp gust of wind yanks the clipping clean from your grasp. Ah, earnest honk for editorial, yes, yes. Glancy, oh, I thought as much. Holy Howl, of course. Geithner for biography. The floorboards rumble. Everything okay? What's this? Money. Money, money. Money for poetry. Mornay could not, cannot, I would rather a more. I would rather a more ill win the prize than that, that Bulgarian corsener of the tongue. You must understand, she uses no punctuation, no punctuation at all, except question marks, question marks, and so many of them. They are everywhere, like spots dancing in the eyes. Hey, uh, remember Holly Haldel one? A world in which Morney has a Pulitzer for poetry. No, I cannot. I cannot bear it. Please, don't get excited. 
Hello? Are you still there? Oh well. Uh-oh. I shouldn't have let him read on. But what if he just would have fished it out of me anyway? Anyway, apparently there's a fishing bowl here that I can now fish from. And I get some mana enriched flour. The windmill won't be making any new flour for quite some time, which will be a real problem for the bugs in this batch when they run out of land to colonize. Ah! An item! That shard of the windmill's blade splintered off in the shape of a sword. If you can pull from the ground, you might well become the ruler of this old dang farm. I try and do it. That was easier than it looked. A throne might be excessive. Agreed. I got the windmill blade. To wield this makeshift blade is to harness the wind itself. And that's arguably why the whole reason we have wind in the first place. To hit monsters and ghouls. That's what it's for. Deals four physical damage to all enemies. Seems neat. Alright. Whoa, did I read this hobo code ever before? It says go 50 paces west. 50 paces west. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, never mind. It, it, it looks like I just go until it says that. So west is north and north is west. So I go this way until I get stopped. 25 paces south, that's normal. 25 paces east, which is normal as well. Almost there, 50 paces west. Dig it up with the shovel! There's a batch of soil that looks recently disturbed. I dig it up. Dig, dig, dig. You find a little box buried here. A previously buried cigar box. Is it full of dirty little secrets? I open it. It's a little cache of buried hobo treasure. See what's inside it. A lucky hobo nickel! Three quilt squares, a battery, a match, a gauze pad, and some mercury eye drops. Lucky hobo nickel is an accessory. The real treasure was the treasure we found at the end. Plus 30% to item drops. And a quilt square is a bit of brightly colored material in case you need to make a jaunty repair to a pair of jaunty pants. What a haul! Nice! You've entirely relented being a windmill at this point, friend. Do you, do you still have a voice at all? No? All right. I'll see you around, buddy. I'll see you around. Hmm, I need to make my way back to the longer fellow as well. With, unfortunately, no additional information as to how I may solve it. So, let's... Wait, hang on. M? Map? There we go. Let's pull this up, make our way to... Wrecked Riverboat. Oh, right. I need to quickly go use a restroom. <sighs> Do the Moonshiners have one? I hope so. Moonshiners, please. Let me let me wash my face in your pot that's been demoted from soup to chamber. I don't think I want to wash my face in that. I'm gonna go to the Gainman Fortress. I know there's a toilet there. I do have to sneak past them to make my way in. But they will allow me to clean and leave, I believe. And I have a lot of negative perks that I've just been picking up because I know that I can get rid of them at some point. And that point has arrived. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's sink, but can't use that one. The supply closet. At least tell me there was actually a restroom here that I could... Uh-oh. Uh Wait, this does have the toilet. Never mind, apparently there is not a bathroom here that I can use. <sighs> Alas, Radio Shack? Let me use the loo here. I know there was one. Thank you. Splash some water on my face and I lose all of the debuffs that were still concerning me at that point. Make our way back to the wrecked riverboat. You get, I told you to get. So 
So what it feels like is on the floor where I'm given the clue, I might get additional modifiers somehow over the course of that clue's delivery as well as the, the area that modify it. Like, you know, what about this? Like, I read this. We are all broke upon thine wheel, spelling. Could this give me any hint? As to Maritime Basic, Maritime Plus, Standard, etc. I wonder if there's like a different order of... How many different orders are there of, you know, four unique characters, but six characters, right? Is it possible that it's like something super dumb? Like it's the the order is just increasing across the board. Nope. Not that. Could it be the inverse of that perfectly? I don't know. Maybe. Nope, that's not it. Interesting. Captain Dan, say the code one more time for me. So, standard would be month, month, day, day, year, year. And again, it's January 4th. International day, day, month, month, year, year. You know, I'm just going to try another version that's like year, year, month, month, day, day, year, year, day, day, month, month. Just like classics. Uh, so, year, year, day, month, oh sorry, that's month and day, uh, year, year, day, month, that's not it. I think I am going to try a couple more combinations, but in between episodes at this point. No, the original lock is not zero, zero, zero. I try a nine. That's not it. Fair point, well made. In the next episode, I am going to solve this and meet Captain Dan. But until then, my name is Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Shadows of the Loathing. Top left is a series playlist for all of my content in the game past, and future. YouTube recommendation down below. Stream past the names of the people so generously supporting the Republic on Patreon.com. Slash subscribe, please. At or above the thank tin. A special thanks to this episode to Silly. Hopefully, you'll all be enjoying yourselves, and hopefully, we'll see you all next time.